If you're part of the 80% of people taking any type of supplements, make sure to watch this video before taking another pill because we'll go over the seven dangers linked to supplements and we bet that the last one will surprise most of you. Danger one, supplements are like a box of chocolates. Did you know that a recent test of NMN products showed 64% had NMN levels below the detection limit? Makes you wonder what white powder they are selling. Unspecified ingredients are one of the biggest dangers associated with supplements. Here's how you can protect yourself. Before purchasing any supplement, make sure that the product comes from a reputable company. Check that the manufacturer adheres to quality practices, especially good manufacturing practices, and International Organization for Standardization norms. Make sure the product has over 100% absolute purity. Check the product is tested by an independent third party for heavy metals, bacteria, yeast, mold, and toxins. You can also check independent testing of supplements by labs such as labdoor.com and consumerlab.com. If you want to skip to the chase, here are three reputable companies that abide by these standards. See the description for discount and link. Do not age, renew by science, Novos Lab. Danger two, the Big Lebowski supplements. It's also important to make sure the supplements you're consuming have been shown to actually work. One of the black sheep in the longevity category that fits this mold is resveratrol. There is now strong evidence in the literature suggesting that resveratrol does not have an effect on lifespan. Case in point, the ITP, which is the gold standard for longevity studies on mice, showed no effect of resveratrol on mouse lifespan. Yet it's still massively consumed by longevity enthusiasts. Another example are antioxidants. The benefits for longevity of some antioxidant supplements has been debunked countless times, and some can even shorten your lifespan, such as vitamin E. In the end, make sure what you're taking has a strong body of evidence that it works, at least in animal studies. Check the latest research and databases, and look at expert reviews from both sides of the coin. Danger 3. Incorrect or not ideal timing. Next up is taking the supplement at the wrong time of day. As we learn more about the circadian clock, we realize how important it is to control our physiology. What time of the day you take a supplement can affect how well it's absorbed by your body, how it's distributed throughout your body, how it's metabolized or used by your body, how well the supplement functions, and how it's excreted by your kidneys, for instance. Taking a supplement at the wrong or inconsistent time of the day could lead to decreased effectiveness or even death in extreme cases. For now, the best way to counteract this is to see what guidelines have been made available by experts and other reputable users. You could also find out if you have the adequate levels of certain supplements by testing yourself when possible. For instance, testing your NMN levels with a home kit. Danger 4. Incorrect dosing. Most of us have heard that taking medications at wrong doses can lead to negative symptoms, but you may not know that this applies to common supplements as well, even collagen peptides. High doses of some supplements can cause digestive issues such as bloating, constipation, and abdominal pain, intolerances, allergies, or worse. So make sure to follow expert advice for the recommended dosage indicated on the supplement label. Danger 5. Missing complementary ingredients. There's also a potential danger if you're missing key ingredients that complement the supplement you're taking. Let's take vitamin B3, relatives, NMN, and NR as examples. Taking these precursors in isolation may deplete substances in the body called methyl donors, such as betaine and choline. This could lead to abnormal methylation patterns which are associated with cancer, heart disease, and accelerated aging. Low amounts of methyl donors can also result in high homocysteine levels, a risk factor for cardiovascular and Alzheimer's diseases. One way to counteract this is by taking TMG, aka trimethylglycine or betaine, with NMN or NR. TMG is a modified amino acid that supports methylation and has its own health benefits. By taking TMG with NMN, the body can efficiently convert NMN into NAD plus through the methylation process, ensuring your NMN supplementation is not wasted. This combination can provide a synergistic effect in supporting healthy aging with a focus on mental, heart and liver health and reducing fatigue. Danger 6. Combining supplements with prescription medications. If you are on any prescription medications, you should be aware of the potential dangerous interaction between supplements and drugs. These can lead to direct side effects such as when combining NR or NMN with blood pressure medications potentially causing dangerously low blood pressure. 
where some supplements can decrease the effectiveness of drugs, such as when magnesium or zinc are taken with certain antibiotics, or reduce vitamin and mineral levels in the body, such as when vitamin B12 is taken with certain antacids. These are just a few examples. Make sure you do your research if you're on prescription medication. Danger 7. Combining too many supplements. Did you know that combining too many or specific longevity supplements can cancel out the benefits or possibly be detrimental to your health and lifespan? Dr. Gordon Lithgow of the Buck Institute said this, One of the things we saw is when we took individual interventions and combined them together and fed them to worms, we would start seeing incremental benefits from 1 to 2, maybe 2 to 3, and then everything would crash. The more interventions we put in there, the worse things got. Fortunately, studies in mammals have been less alarming. Dr. Brian Kennedy has been studying this effect in mice. He says that sometimes when combining longevity compounds, supplements, and medications, their individual benefits cancel each other out. On the other hand, there are studies showing the positive effects of combining specific longevity compounds, such as this study and this one. So if you want to be an early adopter and are risk averse, Starting with up to three longevity supplements or cycling them may be the safest route. Ultimately, it's essential that you do your research, especially on the brand reputation and product quality. Follow the recommended dosage for any supplement and speak with a longevity trained healthcare professional before starting a new supplement regimen. If you want to know which longevity supplements are best, subscribe and watch this next video.